Hey guys, I'm Carrie with Two Willing Tots and we're here today with the Saris Bones bike rack. Now this rack has been Saris's best selling rack for years, but why is it so popular? Well, we tested it out ourselves and I'm here to tell you seven things that you need to know to determine if it's right for your bikes and your car. Number one, Saris Bones versus Saris Bones EX. So this is the Saris Bones EX three bike capacity. They recently added the EX to the Saris Bones line to better accommodate more vehicles. Now the primary difference between the Bones and the Bones EX is simply the arc of the mounting leg. This mounting leg is a little bit flatter than the original Bones and it's meant to accommodate 20% more vehicles. So the primary reason why you would choose the EX over the regular Bones is simply if the original Bones didn't fit your vehicle. Number two, the Saris Bones mounts with straps, not a hitch. The Saris Bones is a trunk rack. This means that it attaches to your vehicle via a strap system rather than with a hitch receiver. Trunk racks are designed to mount to vehicles that don't have a hitch. To tightly secure the Saris Bones to your vehicle, three sets of straps anchor the rack in place. These straps originate from the center cylinder of the rack and hook to upper, lower, and side panel gaps on your vehicle. The hooks are coated in vinyl to protect your vehicle from damage. To accommodate cars that may not normally be compatible with the trunk rack, Saris has a special strap adapter you may need that's called a hatch hugger. Just make sure to consult Saris's bike rack fit guide before you buy. Number three, how do you load the bikes onto the bones? The Saris Bones is a hanging rack, as are almost all trunk racks. This means that the bike's frame hangs on the rack's arms. To load bikes onto the Bones, lift the bike onto the rack so that the rack arms are positioned underneath the top tube of your bike. Rest the top tube in the rack arm cradles and secure the top tube in place with the ratcheting straps. Each bike also has a third cradle and ratcheting strap that goes around the seat post or seat tube of your bike. These anti-sway straps help to minimize damage to bikes and your vehicle that can be caused by the sway of bikes back and forth. Loading bikes on any hanging rack can be a little bit tricky. You have to lift the bike's frame up and over the ratcheting straps, which usually get in the way. The sideways strap is the biggest problem, so make sure it's turned on its side to give you sufficient room to fit your bike over the arms. This is an issue for any hanging rack. Number four, arced mounting arms make loading bikes easier. All hanging racks are more difficult to load than platform racks, in part because the bikes are spaced more closely to one another. While our favorite Saris platform hitch rack, the Super Clamp EX4, has about nine inches between each bike, the Saris Bones EX3 has only six and a half inches between bikes. That said, six and a half inches of spacing is still pretty decent for a hanging rack. With hanging racks, it's inevitable that handlebars will hit saddles and puddles will get caught in spokes. The Saris Bones mounting arms are arced instead of being perfectly straight and perpendicular to your vehicle, like many other hanging racks. The arc allows the mounted bikes to have staggered heights, which results in less handlebar and saddle interference. We were easily able to load up several different configurations of bikes, including three mountain bikes, very quickly with minimal repositioning. The Bones was significantly easier to load than other hanging racks we've tested. Number five, loading women's bikes and kids' bikes with top tube adapters. Like most hanging racks, the Saris Bones can pretty easily accommodate 20 inch kids bikes to adult bikes and even some 16 inch kids bikes. It is always easier to hang bikes with flat top tubes. Unfortunately, most women's and kids bikes have slanting top tubes and may need a top tube adapter to mimic a flat top tube. Saris's top tube adapter is called a bike beam, although an adapter from any brand will work. Using top tube adapters can sometimes be tricky because you need enough space between the adapter bar and the bike's top tube to squeeze the rack arms through. To create enough space, it may be necessary to raise your saddle if you ride with it slammed down or close to the collar. This will especially be necessary for many 20 inch and 24 inch kids bikes. While it's possible that a 16 inch bike will fit on the bones or any hanging rack, we could only get one out of six of our 16 inch bikes to work. This is because you need about 14 and a half inches between the top of the seat post and the headset to even get a top tube adapter on the bike. If you are going to try this with a 16 inch bike, the Saris bike beam will most likely be too long, but the Yakima top tube adapter is more likely to fit. As an FYI, you can carry some bikes with sloping top tubes without a bike beam. Doing so just causes the bikes to be angled very awkwardly on the rack. 
Number six, always check car compatibility before purchase. Trunk rack compatibility can be tricky. With hitch racks, if you have the right size hitch, pretty much any hitch rack will fit your car. This is not the case with trunk racks. Because the mounting arms of the rack rest on the bumper, trunk, windows, etc., the shape of your car will affect compatibility. Rear spoilers and car panel gap placement can also be problematic. While the original Bones models may certainly fit your car, the newest Saris Bones EX, shown throughout this review, was designed to fit 20% more vehicles than the original. The redesigned shape of the Bones EX mounting legs allows them to avoid contact with most spoilers. These legs are also better suited for cars with flat backs like vans and SUVs, or our Honda Pilot here, than the original Bones and many other trunk racks. Whether you're interested in the original Bones or think you need the more versatile Bones EX, you 100% need to check compatibility with your specific vehicle before purchase. Number seven, the Bones easily folds but doesn't have rear car access. Many hitch racks can tilt away from the hatch or trunk. Trunk racks are at a disadvantage to hitch racks because you cannot open your trunk or hatch while the rack is installed. That said, if you really don't need access to your trunk or hatch for a few days, the Saris Bones arms fold down so the rack stores more compactly on your car. The rack arms on the Saris Bones have a unique mechanism for folding down. You untighten the large black plastic screw on the arm, slide the arm to the center of the silver cylinder, and fold down. You then slide it back to the side and re-tighten the screw. Each arm moves independently of the others. Be aware that the Bones and Bones EX do not lock to your car in any way. As a result, the rack could easily be stolen if your car is parked outside. So what's the bottom line? If your car doesn't have a hitch, the Saris Bones trunk rack is easily one of the best quality and easiest to use options. We particularly love how fast we were able to get bikes on and off the rack and how effortlessly it accommodated our kids' bikes. 